Hey guys, Blubber here, and today we are going over the brand new update, so let's just hop straight into it. Refer to the timestamps down below if you want to go to a certain part of the video. But yeah, a lot of new stuff added. I'm going to have the logs down below, but first we're going to go over the cars, because that's like the most exciting part of the video for a lot of you guys. Okay, so first of all, the 1964 Chrysler Jetstream. Here it is. Pretty cool car. Again, guys, I'm not going to be getting every single car, but yeah, here it is. Pretty cool car, if you ask me. We have a 1987 bull Bullhorn Canaveral. Interesting name, might I say. We have a base. Uh, Consola, Belco Z T tops, a base T tops, uh, Belco Z uh, Consola T tops, and a base. And yeah, there's that. Then there's also the 1999 new car Falcata. Now we have Beater, a GL, GLS, and yeah, that's it for that car. Then we have the 2000 Falcon Aquarius. We have the LX, SES, SE, SEL Wagon, SEL. SC wagon LX SC okay there we go and that's that car we have a 2001 a Falcon Prime a P71 Metro uh, we have the Metro alternative and just a normal Metro and there we go we also have the 2003 Chevron Venice uh, we have the beater LS1 SB the LS1 SA and 1 SA and the beater and yeah that's it for that car then there's 2006 Falcon Aquarius. We have the LX trim, the SES trim, the SE, the SEL wagon, the SEL, SE wagon, and LX. And yeah, there we go back to the start of that. Then we have the 2006 Bellfire Prima. So we have the Let's Begin trim, the base, uh, Touring, and yeah, that's it for the 2006 Bellfire. Then we have the 2007 Jupiter Orbit. Uh, here we have the base model. Then we have the Redline model. And yeah, that's that car. Then we have a 2007 Wolfsburg Bunny Slash Pitch. We have the Bunny TDI, Bunny 2.5 liter, the Pitch RVR6 URT2, the Pitch GT, the Pitch RVR6, Bunny TDI, and back to the start we go. <laughs> then we have a 2007 Wolfsburg Charge with the TDI Beater, uh, Blue Z's, uh, Osvesk, I'm not gonna be driving, that's a TDI, Votex 2.5 liter, RVR6, 2.5 liter, GT Fahrenheit, TDI Cut. Cup Street Edition, a starter car, and yeah, T GT and TDI Peter, and then we're back to start for that car. Then we have the most exciting car out of all of them, the 2008, the 2008 Mazda RX-8. Look at the Peter. Oh geez, that is scary. We have the Peter EV conversion, which is interesting. The Sport Touring, Grand Touring, Mizuku Speed. I am for sure getting that thing. Looks so sick. And yeah, that's it for 2008. There's, we're gonna be testing a lot of RX-8s. So I'll tell you that. We have a 2009 Jupiter Inspire. Here it is with the XE i4, the XR V6, and Green 9 i4, and Redline V6, and XE i4, and yeah, th there we go. I'm not, I'm not, I, I'm sorry. I just got home to this update, so I'm super excited. Then we have 2009 Falfa Prima with the base trim, two rain trim, and that's it for that car. <laughs> then we have the 2012 Century Aqua. Uh, we have 3.5 front wheel drive, 3.5 H all wheel drive, 3.5 all wheel drive, 3.0 oh, front wheel. I'm not gonna name them. I'm just gonna click through them. You guys, you guys get it, right? Then we have the 2012 Mazda RX-8. Here it is. We have the Sport, the Grand Touring, the Spirit R, the R3, and yeah, Sport. There we go. Super excited. I'm for sure gonna get that car as well. Then we have the 2012 Toscani Efora. You have the GLS and Limited, and yes, again, super cool car. We have the 2013 Chevron Antelope. Here it is. We have the LS trim, LTZ trim, SS trim, LT, and LS. And yeah, there we go. Then we have the 2013 Falcon Scavenger Metro. Here it is. We have just one trim. There we go. Then we have the 2015 Century Aqua. We have the 3.5. I'm not gonna. I'm not again. I'm not gonna name. That is scary. Oh my. I'm not gonna name all of them though, because too much work. You know. I'm. I'm unemployed. I'm in high school. I am. I just got off from volunteering. I am not in the mood to read all these things off. Now with the 2015 Chevron Cap TIS, we have the LS, uh, LTZ, LT, and LS, L yeah, there, there we go. Now with the 2015 Falcon Aquarius Interceptor Sedan Metro, here it is. We have a 2015 N3XT Arena Sport, we have the base, Monogram, Speedster, okay, that's like a street racer car, and RS and base, there it is. We have a 2015 Tuscany if you <clears throat> oh excuse my voice if you're uh, with the SE Sport Limited and yeah there we go. Now with the 2016 Viking Tours Landa sedan, really cool car here it is. Not gonna name all those trims, but we're gonna quickly go through them. Again, another car I'm for sure gonna get. Really cool car. Then with the 2016 Viking Tours Landa wagon, even cooler. Here it here it is with its trims, and yeah. Then moving forward, oh geez. How many cars do we have to go through? We have the 2017 Falcon Advance Plus. 
here it is the exo regular cap exo t regular cap platinum blah 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 here it is really cool track probably not gonna test it out though uh then we have two ambulances right there and the swat fan this thing's so cool actually then we have the 2017 Vulcan Vance WSP right there. Then we have a 2019 Velvet Prima Cross. Here it is. L, L, E. Just only two terms, unfortunately. But again, pretty cool car. Then we have a 2020 Beat Cam Munich or Munich. Here it is. From what I can tell, this is just a refresh model. And yeah, uh, th there it is. Then there's the 2020 Beat Cam Reagan Touring. I'm for sure going to get this. I love my wagons, if you guys didn't know. And yeah, here it is. Pretty cool car, if you ask me. Then there's the 2020 Chevron Camion Sheriff. Then there's the 2020 Beacon Donor. Here it is. Or again, a really cool car. Probably not gonna get it, get it though, because I don't want kidney. I don't want kidney grill. For, I, who, who wants to, their kidneys as their grill for the car? Like, what? Then we have the 2021 Illusion Slick Hatchback. Super cool car. We have the LX EX Sport 6 Manual, Sport Touring CBT, Sport CBT Type R Limited Edition. Then just a normal Type R. And yeah, here, here it is. Then there's the 2021 Falcon Advance plus the 2020 Falcon Scavenger. Here it is. We have the uh, XL Rewrow Drive, EcoBoost, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to just go through these. It's because like, Timberland, really cool trim. And Police Interceptor. So, yeah, there it is. Then there's a Fire. Then there's like a bunch of variants of it. Then there's the 2021 Overland Buckaroo. Here it is. We have the Sport, Climax, blah, blah, blah. Again, I cannot name all these. I am so sorry, guys. I'm going to click through them real quick, though, for you guys. And yeah, there's that. Then there's the 2021 Overland Competent. Here it is. Pretty cool. I don't know if I'm going to get it, though. I'm not really a huge Jeep fan, but I'll probably get it, honestly. Then there's the 2021 Tacchio Experience. Here it is. We have the standard and carbon package. Really cool car, if you ask me. Then we have the 2020, 2022 Zuma Asite. Here it is. We have the base, Touring, Premium, and Obsidian trim. There it, there it is. Then we have the 2022 Wolfsburg Albuquerque. Here it is. Uh, we have the S. SC opted and SEL and SC trim. Yeah, and there it is. And then we have the 2023 Celestial Type 1 with the signature and extraterrestrial. I guess these are now convertibles. Who knew? And yeah, that's it for all the new car guys. Now I'm gonna I'll be right back with you guys. We're gonna test out some of the cars. But before that, let's head over to the new location, which is the hotel. Alrighty guys, so we are now just heading straight over to the new motel slash hotel that was added. So here it is. So yeah, new motel here. This this thing looks so cool. You guys might remember this from, from some older future update videos. Yeah, here it is. We're gonna quickly run through it though. Actually, what I'm gonna do? Can we just do? Oh yeah. Okay, let's go for a free cam tour. Actually, so here's like the entrance area right here. Then we have some rooms right here. We have like a conference room. Then another conference room. Looks like this kind of like check-in area. A little office, of course. Then if you go in here, there's like a. I don't know if I'm not supposed to enter that. Am I? Oh, we have to touch the claim room. Okay, so we're gonna claim a room moment here. We have some elevators. We can test those out. Then we have this, and yeah, you know what? Let's. Go. Then we have some stairs. Let's go inside and let's go claim a room and see what happens, cause that that's very interesting. But actually, let's test out the elevator. Oh, we just teleport upstairs. Okay, so here, let's touch. Okay, and this is a hotel room. This thing looks really cool, actually. So yeah, um, this is like the hotel, I guess, guys. So that's actually really cool, but here, let's go down to the very end, and let's go see what the stairs are like, because that's actually pretty interesting. And yeah, there's like a little vending machine area over here. Really cool if you guys ask me. Also, this is not a in-depth video. There's also some like washers here. This is very, very um, not in-depth at all. I'll probably do a stream tomorrow going more, way more in-depth if you guys want. Yeah, uh, that's the new building. Uh, let's go test out the new cars, guys. All right, guys. So the first car we're testing out right here is the 2021 Takio Experience. Let's go take it for a good old test drive. We're not testing out like its, it's exact stats. Just kind of taking it for a test drive. See it how how it handles. Here's the horn, blinkers, of course. I love the way this thing handles. Really good car, and this thing is really speedy, actually. And this car is cheap. This thing I got it for not even 200k, and it goes 192 miles per hour. Really cool car. Let's test out the next car though. Next up, the 2021 Legion Slick Hatchback. So let's check this thing out. So here it is. Ooh, this thing looks sick. Okay. This thing is cool. Here are blinkers, of course. Horn. This thing is cool. Okay. Yeah, this is a really cool car. I'm actually really excited with this thing. I'm for sure going to be using that. Then there's the 2021, 2020 Beacon Reagan Touring. Now there's one thing I do want to test out with this car, and it's actually a new feature that was just added, and that is emergency light brake display. So here, let's go, let's test this car out. Let's like slam on the brakes though, and let's see what happens. So here, we're gonna go pretty fast, and we're gonna slam on the brakes. 
that's actually so cool how like the okay that's really cool how it automatically turns on anyways here's a horn for the car and blinkers of course and yeah this seems cool i'm so excited that they added in like one of these station wagons super cool then there is the 2016 viking torslando wagon really cool car i love all of it. you guys didn't know super cool car also you can now lock your car so here we go so like i can eject the seat and i can lock all these seats and so it's really cool you can even really really cool stuff basically so basically there's a new car locking system uh basically yeah this could speak to rejecting people under your seats as well as allows the driver's seat to be unlocked so i could allow my friend to drive my car around if i really wanted to anyways right, so let's get this thing out on the road here are the blinkers for this and horn oh guys if you have not noticed there is now wind sound effects for the car really cool car okay let's slam on the brakes on this thing though really cool car though i do quite like that thing then of course there's the 2015 century Ak aquila or i'm not, not really sure the specific name of it but here let's get on the road I love this SUV. I love Lexus. I'm so happy that, that, that this thing is in the game. Here's the horn. Really cool. Then, of course, blinkers. And yeah, just a really cool car. Super excited to drive this thing around. Then there is the um, 2012 Mizuku Senkaki or the RX-8. 2012 RX-8. So, I did not I do not recall choosing these rooms, but, you know, it is what it is. Oh, this thing sounds sick. Here's the horn. And, of course, blinkers. This is a 2012 model. Pretty cool car. But I did not choose these rooms. I think I bought the wrong trim for this car, unfortunately. Uh, here, let's test out the 2000... Oh, they changed mine. Okay, so now I just have like a base RX-8 for my normal car. Here, let's see what the 2008 Mizuku... Let's see what the um, Mazda Speed 3 one looks like. This thing is so cool. Okay. Let's get this thing on the road. Here's the horn. Of course, we have blinkers as well. Yeah. Well, thing is, this car does look a lot more wide than it did before. I don't know. It's probably because this car is like brand new in the game, right? Way different from the other one. But I don't know. This feels a bit too square for me. I don't know. Might just be my FOV though. Anyways, here's the horn. Really cool car. I'm for sure going to be using this a ton load. And wait, wait, wait. We need to test this out real quick before we go into our next car. Okay. It passes the test. It does pass the test. I am super excited with that. Then, is that the last car we bought? Uh, no, it is not. Here, let's go on the last car we bought and test it out here. So here it is, the new 27, 2007 Jupiter Orbit. You guys probably remember this car from GB3. Okay, anyways, here it is with the convertible. Actually, before we get going, let, let me do a little tour. Nothing really special in the interior. I mean, it is a Saturn, right? But pretty cool nonetheless. Anyways, let's go, let's go over this real quick. And yeah. Really cool car. Here are the blinkers and everything on the bottom. And yeah, really cool car. But also, let's go to this one because I want to show you guys one more thing before we end this video. But actually, as we're about to end the video, let me go over to Chains Log. So there's a new Mattel we went over, new car locking system we also went over, new emergency brake light display thing we went over, new rendering background. So basically, better rendering for people. Added wind noises, we already kind of went over that. Added cruise control button on mobile devices, we're not on mobile, so. And there's also a low fuel chime. Unfortunately, I don't have any cars that are low fuel, so I can't do that. And there's blind spot monitoring for some cars. Unfortunately, I don't have any friend to test that out with, unfortunately. We can test that out in tomorrow's stream, though. Then they added that you must be outside of, of your car to fuel up. So, like, for I can actually show the case line in a moment here, but let me go over this filter right here. So, if I, yeah, affordable. So, this is, like, all the cheap. Huh? Wait, do, does it go from most expensive to cheapest? Okay, it does, it does, it does. Okay, good. I was so confused at first. I was like, why are they showing a Bugatti for a portable? Yeah, but they also added that. Then they also added auto lights. Now the first option, if equipped. Uh, add a new department building near visitors. Oh, okay, so we should go check out the new law department building, actually, before we end this video. Oh, that car is... Well, there, there's the chime. I guess this car has no fuel, guys. There, there you go. I guess we have to go quickly um, check out the new Metro Police building. Okay. Let's quickly go. Uh, where would this, it, it said it was near visitors, so it's probably over there then. But after that, we can quickly head over to the thing. I'll show you guys how like you can't really fuel up your car's gas. Here, anyways, let's go check out this new building real quick. As as we're going over there, there's a new LESGUI to emergency vehicles and a new affordable filter, which we just went over. Okay, so where's this new metro? Oh, I think it is right here, actually. Yep, here it is. This is actually really cool. 
Now, BGB ERP should be getting a department for this. I'll have that link in the description down below, guys. But yeah, here's the department building. Pretty cool if you ask me. Here it is. TVs, everything, waiting area, vending machine. Kind of like a waiting desk over here. Then we go over here, so there's some paperwork areas. Uh, then there's a bathroom, of course. Uh, what's in here? It looks like some jail cells. And a garage for some police vehicles. Pretty cool stuff, if you ask me. And... Yeah, I think that's kind of it for today. Again, this is a super brief video. Um, and by the way, guys, I'll have all the mo I'll have like the update logs in the description down below, so make sure to go check that out. But in total, there is um, 28 in total, 48 v 48 cars updated slash added, a lot of trims, and yes, more than last update. But yeah, um, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.